Hi, my name is Grant Banbury and today I'm here at the Agantar Art Gallery in Timaru in their storeroom and I've decided to talk about this particular artwork here. It's by a woman called Sarah Hughes and she lives in Auckland. She's born in 1971 and has in recent decades, uh, become a very important contemporary New Zealand artist. She has won the Wallace Premier Award several years ago, and she's well known for her major installations, both indoors and some of them outdoors. After the earthquakes in Christchurch, for example, she did a very large installation of coloured flags. And really, colour is one of the most important aspects of her practice. If we look at this work, it's called Interstellar. It's from 2016 and it came into the collection here the following year. It's a work on paper, it's in acrylic, and that has been adhered to uh, an aluminium sheet. If we look at the work, it's probably not easy to see exactly how it's executed. If, if you come in really close, which I can do here, there seems to be a layering of the actual material. She's using stencils, so was it some sort of computer-generated cutout that's been put on, sprayed over, and then removed? So there is physical layers here when you're right up close um, to have a look at it. The title gives some suggestion to the intent of the artist here. Interstellar suggests some sort of spatial play um, several years ago, she won the prestigious Francis Hodgkins Fellowship, which is a year-long study with a stipend for an artist to work at Otago University. That award has now been in <coughs> action for over 50 years, and it's really great to see the range of artists that have received that particular accolade. These orange areas are freely, look freely cut in a sense, and I can see the brushed acrylic in these areas. They tend to sit out a little bit on the surface, and there is a real sense of play here. Your eye darts around the surface to these um, areas of parallel lines that have just uh, been twisted and turned, so you have that shape, gives some sort of three-dimensional play, but you're really not sure where it begins and where it ends. For those of you less familiar with um, thinking about a painting, you often, what's referred to as the picture plane, which is the surface of the work, here it's got a push and pull um, effect with it. And there seems to be a very, in a way, a very casual nature about it, perhaps you would say, in terms of its composition. It seems free flowing. There's little areas of pattern, and there are subtle, subtle optical effects in the colour, the purple, lilac, mauve against the green, and these little areas of sprayed paint, orange, and uh, going into yellow. So it's a very vital, fun work um, that feels, in a sense, very exploratory. It has no frame on it, so in a sense it gives the work that sense of expansive freedom.